Howdy from Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm. Today is a big day here. We're going to be inoculating our shiitake logs. We're going to go over our materials first. This is obviously the first thing you'll need. These are shiitake plugs from northspore.com. You can see these are little dowels that are inoculated with mycelium. You can see the bird seed in there that they often use as a um, medium for inoculation. And northspore.com, again, is a great company with a reputable product. So these are the plugs we're going to be using. Next is our shiitake logs. These are oak logs cut specifically for this purpose from a down tree we had. You can see about the size we have is about three feet, anywhere from four inches to eight inches in diameter. And you cut them to about three feet just for ease of handling. And you want them this size also for ease of handling. You just don't want huge heavy logs to have to move around multiple times. So this is what we're working with. These have been soaked for 24 hours. So these are nice and wet, which is what you want for shiitake logs. All right, the next tool we're gonna to be using is an angle grinder. You can also use a drill with a proper size drill bit. But this angle grinder has an adapter on it from Ready to Fruit Mushrooms LLC. And then this is a special mushroom inoculation drill bit that only goes the depth of the dowel. So it makes it pretty fast and easy when it comes to drilling your holes for inoculation. We're gonna hammer in our dowels with a good old rubber mallet. And lastly, you'll need a heat source, a pot. This is food grade wax, a couple paint brushes, and we're gonna melt that wax and paint over our holes after we've knocked the dowels in. I think that's pretty much it for the materials, guys. All right, y'all, first step is to drill the logs. So you're gonna go about an inch off the end. I'm gonna put a hole and go six inches, put another hole, go six inches, put another hole, all down the log. And then we're gonna rotate it and then do a diamond pattern. So if my first hole was here, my next one's gonna be here. And I'll do the six inch rule again, and we'll do that all the way around the log. Okay, we're gonna flip the log, and I'm gonna start, here, hold it back right there. I'm gonna start here-ish with my diamond pattern. y'all here's what our dowels look like they're inoculated with shiitake mycelium and each of these dowels is going to go in one of these holes and get tapped in with the rubber mallet If they got a big piece of hunk of mycelium on there, you can put that down in the hole. It's not going to hurt anything. And we're going to do that all the way around the log, guys pretty much the entire inoculation process. And the next we'll just wax these holes where these dowels are going. All right guys, we got our wax melted. Our plugs are in the log, so now we are gonna just paint the surface of each plug with a little bit of wax. What this does is it seals the moisture in the log, keeps critters out of your log because bugs and birds and all sorts of other things 
find mycelium to be sweet and delicious. And it also keeps competitor fungi from entering your log through the holes you made. So essentially, it's an insurance policy to make sure your logs don't get ruined by other courses of nature. Come a time when imaginary lines do not divide us. Or there could come a time when our differences tear us all apart. So do your best to be a good example for all the world to see. Try and fix this crazy place we're living in. Starts with you and me. down all the trees so do your best to be a good example for all the world to see trying to fix this crazy place we're living in starts with you and me Tear us all apart. So do your best to be a good example for all the world to see. Trying to fix this crazy place we're living in starts with you and me. Here's the logs we got done today. We got a little pile left that I'll finish up tomorrow, but we're running out of daylight, so we're gonna call it a day. But you can see these holes after they've been waxed, look like so. And essentially we're gonna put these in a shady spot, hopefully with high humidity, where they can stay moist and we're gonna get shiitake mushrooms in the next year or so, which I'm really excited about. 
But hope you guys have enjoyed our tutorial. This is Brett Bass from Good Hope Equestrian and Regenerative Farm signing off. We'll see you soon. The last four plugs. Shiitake logs.